Uh, turn over to uh, Revelation chapter 12. We started this last week, didn't get all that far, but we'll read the first six verses. Crucial passage, in, in, a, in a sense, a pivotal passage in the book of Revelation. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and on her head a crown of 12 stars and she was with child and she cried out being in labor and in pain to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven and behold a great red dragon, a fiery red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and on his head heads were seven diadems and his tail swept away a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with the rod of iron. And her child was caught up, seized up to God and to his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God so that she would, so that there she would be nourished for 1,260 days. This is God's word. So last week, we sort of gave an overview of chapter 12 uh, and the reason why chapter 12 is so important. We said chapter 12 ends up falling into three parts. You have one through six, which is the woman, the child, and the dragon. And then you have seven to 12, where you have Michael, the dragon, and war in heaven. And then 13 to 17, you have the dragon, 